Welcome back fellow mayors to the vanilla city of Fisher Enclave. In the previous episode, we created the amusement park island and while at 60,000 population, we activated our very first tram route. I honestly should not have waited this long, but that was because I originally intended to connect these two islands together with a tram route so we would have a loop. But then the Bridges and Piers content creator pack was released and now I want to utilize the awesome new bridges to replace the tram bridges. However, by replacing the tram bridges, it breaks the tram loop routes. So now I have to figure out a new way to loop and connect everything. This is Captain Obvious and welcome to the transportation planning with trams. I have mentioned tram loops several times now, although routes that travel back and forth also works, but if possible, I highly favor looping routes, especially with tier 2 modes of transportation. Let us have a look at our tier 1 monorail back and forth route. The circles around the stations represent an estimation of passengers who are willing to walk to the station, while anything outside the circles, passengers would have to drive or bike to get to the station. Now let us see if these routes are efficient by looking at the passengers waiting at the station. On the first monorail line, we see that we are utilizing just 8 vehicles or trains with a capacity of 180. And on every stop, there are not too many passengers waiting and there are no empty trains either. So this is an ideal uh, monorail route. And uh, another thing to take note is the line length which is at 15.7 kilometers and we are saving cars uh, trips by 53% and looking back at our top view this covers four game tiles Meanwhile, the second monorail line has about equal stats. There is a low number of vehicle count and there are not too many passengers waiting at stops and it saves 72% of car trips. And the line is 11.8 kilometers, which is about four to five game tiles. Therefore, these two monorail routes are considered efficient because they utilize minimal number of trains, they do not have an overwhelming number of passengers waiting in the station, and some trains are near if not at full capacity. Now let us compare that with the tram route. The tram is a completely different story. Immediately, we see an overwhelming number of passengers waiting at that one stop and we also have 21 trams in use. So what happened here? If we look at the line length, it is at 12.3 kilometers and when we go look back at the map, it is actually just two game tiles. But it is still one more game tile too many. Tier 2 modes of transportation, which includes buses and trams, should only be within one game tile. Any further will become more and more inefficient. Excuse me while I create multiple tram loops and I will get back to you to explain the process and logic on determining where I place the tram stops. Now that I've created the 
smaller loops, I will now delete the original tram route and we are just going to start completely fresh. So all of the trams will have to return to the uh, tram depot. So uh, first let me update this uh, road and we'll turn that into the bridge that I've uh, wanted so that it doesn't get confusing. All right, so now that we have that completed, we are now going to add our tram stops. And the first stop will be, well, we'll put it, hmm, let's see, we'll put it right here. Put one there, and then the next stop will be here. So this is where uh, the high density residential are. So that's going to be a good location. And here, we're gonna put one right in front of the Amsterdam Palace and then another on the other side and then going across to the other high density area and we're gonna put one right in front of the Eiffel Tower and then another one that is in front of this monorail station so the idea is people from here can transfer between stations and now we're gonna add another here and so this will, so you notice it's going this way and then it's going to rotate back towards uh, the industrial area. So we have a stop here, which is about the middle. And then I'm going to put one here. So because we have a monorail station here, so they can get down and travel to this stop. And I'm going to put one here, which is right in front of the ferry pier. Rotate it back there and put another here just to complete that loop and we'll bring it back to the same location of where that monorail uh, station is and there you go complete the loop so that is our first loop which is only in this area so that's about about one tile uh we don't have to go here because uh, yeah this this can just travel there um let's actually take a look back at memory lane uh, and look at that garden with those gates I, I really love how we built this and it's completely vanilla here is the Eiffel Tower a little closer you got gates everywhere uh, these are hot air balloon stops and so I made the stops on this, but I actually want to try to put it there. Let's see if I could drag it. Yes, you can. There you go. So drag it inside. Put one on the other side there. There you go. So now the people are going to run towards that. Like it's a zombie apocalypse. Yep, go across. And let's go ahead and create our next uh, loop. So here is a monorail stop. So we're going to do this side first. So I'm going to put one line. Actually, let's let's put one here. One line there. We'll put one right in the middle, which is in front of the high school here. And then we're going to put a stop right where the Arc de Triomphe is. So we're going to put one right here on the side. Uh, this is a road, a tram road only. This is not a tram with road this is a tram track apologies so no no vehicles can actually go through here unless they are trams so we'll put one there and here this is a roundabout and i used a one-way tram tram road so this is uh it still functions as a roundabout i'll put one there and of course one right in front of the uh monorail station and it's also in front of the hospital and then rotating back, I will put one here so this all our residents from the high density area can just take this and there. That completes that one loop. And then the next one will be going the other way. So I will first create a first stop again right in front of the Octotrion right here. And we'll put another station or stop right there. And of course this monorail. Uh, station so again the idea is they would transfer going to or from and here we got another I think no we don't have but we definitely should have one here and looping around so I'm I'm placing stops where there's high density areas 
so that they don't have to travel that far put one here and here at our element elementary school area going there and then it will loop back and it will go actually here right in front of the uh, amusement park or on the island and it's gonna rotate back and I'm actually gonna instead of making it go there we're gonna make it go this direction I'll put it here so we got some high density areas here I'm gonna put it right here because this is where the crossing is they can't cross anywhere there and here again I will place right here because there's a crossing here and and that is how we complete the loop so this is the so we got first second and then third notice the size of it is just one tile or basically fits in your screen without zooming out too much and now we're gonna create uh, another one here this one seems uh, relatively large but that is because this area is mostly low density so if it's low density everything then you could actually have a very long route but if it's mostly high density then your your stop should be much closer and your loop should be much smaller all right so again we're gonna start right here right in on, at the side of the arc put one there and let's watch the direction let's make sure it's going the right way is it supposed to go this way no it's supposed to go that way why are you going why are you misbehaving trying to go that way let's uh, delete that and let's do it again hmm uh, let me find another location to start okay I think this would be good right here okay so here which will be right in front of the monorail station then we'll add one on this side we'll make it a little further because this is relatively too close so I'm gonna put it like towards the end and then somewhere in the midpoint going to the high school and then finally we'll go here there you go now it's behaving properly and it will go right beside that one and we got some high density here put that there actually it should be around here but I think that's fine and then add another stop here where the high density uh, residential are again and finish that loop and there we go so that completes these loops and this uh, we don't know yet because I haven't occupied that area so for now I'm gonna leave this as is but to be less confusing let's actually upgrade these roads all right so now it's gone so we have the right tracks going and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna build on the other side so first I need to upgrade these bridges and we're gonna use the new bridge from the bridges and piers uh, content creator pack we are using the European four lane stone bridge here let me go ahead and upgrade these and it's actually a good thing that we are upgrading this because look at this one this one's a little funky it's like it's curved and the sus suspension is not exactly the same height or same length right so and this see again it kind of curved so it's actually a good thing that we are upgrading these bridges I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade those okay there we are so we upgraded the roads and let's check our loop so again it's broken right so from here you no longer have that route uh, we don't even have a tram depot around here so we need to create one um, so I guess uh, so this loop is actually perfect right so notice how small it is but notice the number of high density areas there and then the second loop should be somewhere here so originally it was supposed to go this way but since this is now broken I need to connect it somewhere here so I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, this looks like a good spot so I'll just upgrade this and then we'll connect it at the other side All right, so we have the bridge going across and now we just need to connect it to the main line and let's check there we go so we now have a route 
our loop and we could actually get rid of this one. And all we need now is a tram depot because we, uh, so this bridge was, its purpose was to bring trams on the other side so we don't have to build another one of this. But since we upgraded the bridge, I think the bridge is much more valuable than having another uh, tram depot. So having a second tram depot just costs you a little more. But I don't think money is an issue for our city because we have been a great mayor. And now we just have to figure out where we can place this. All right, so we have our tram depot and now we can add in our new stop. So uh, first we'll put one right here, which is nearby the monorail and ferry depot. So I'm gonna place one here. So again, the loop will be going in one direction, which is uh, clockwise. And this will also be, uh, this will be counter clockwise. No, no, it's also clockwise. But first let's start off here, I'm gonna put one there you only need one because uh, passengers from here can actually just walk there so you don't want to just create so many lines and that's how your vehicles will start to back up and then we're gonna put one right here which is in front of the school the entrance of the college and you need one here which is right in front of all these uh, high-density residential and it will loop back here we'll, we'll probably add one here in case anybody works this area and here and finally loop back so that is our first uh, route on this side of the map uh, let me go ahead and remove this looks like I missed a few things okay there you go so now it's definitely less confusing all you see is the purple for the tram route and lastly is going to, going to be this one so we're going to start off at the monorail station always look for your stations and that's where you're going to place your uh your stops put one right there put one here and one right across the other side same location and there's a lot of high density here and there that's how we complete our loop so and since this is actually we could also create one large loop going around here uh, and so the reason why I don't go in both directions is because I intended to have one just going all the way around so I'm gonna start one here so now it's going the opposite direction there so instead of going up we're just gonna to go over uh, we're gonna follow where was the next stop right there and the loop is complete so there you go um, the only thing we have to do now is actually wait for all the passengers to realize that there are new transportation options and I've noticed something peculiar here we had traffic and there you go we have traffic here and where is it originating from it's coming from here so a lot of cars are beginning to back up and that is because I did not complete this so we have this interchange here but it's actually useless because it's not connected to anything so this is connected going up this is going left this is going south uh, but going to the east uh, is incomplete. So let's go ahead and fix this right now. One of the most important things about creating a theme for your city design is consistency. For instance, I have a few roundabouts in the city, so I should make sure that I apply this design throughout the entire continent in the map. Also, I will maintain to add toll booths before entering a new city district and the purpose of the toll booth is not to generate more income, but to encourage Sims to use public transportation instead of paying the toll. I also use squiggly walking paths on areas that cannot be zoned, which makes the area much more interesting instead of just having rocks and trees. And just like that, the entrance is already to start to look interesting with the walking paths some rock formations and soon the rocks will be accompanied by many tree friends. From the top view, 
The area looks completely flat, but the bridges should hint that it is at least two levels where the highway entrance with the toll booth and roundabout is actually sunken. It's just not as obvious because the terrain slopes are extremely smooth where you do not see any ripples on the ground. While we are at this area, I'm going to go ahead and add another row of high density residential which should help us slowly creep into the final milestone of 70,000 population. And in the middle of the roundabout, I actually was not sure on what I wanted to place in here. I considered plopping down the Brandenburg Gate but it may be a little too small so I opted for these servicing offices. I am not truly committed to having this building in the roundabout so if you have any suggestions on what to place in the roundabout, feel free to comment down below and you may be featured in a future episode when I replace the building. Also, I would appreciate feedback to let me know if the time lapse is too fast where the build becomes incomprehensible or were you able to follow along on what is transpiring. I create these videos for you guys so I want to make sure that everyone can understand on what is going on. And the entrance to the interchange is finally complete. It was honestly a mistake to leave this open for so long and as a result, the traffic in this area has dissipated or is now segregated so we have more vehicles uh, going along through the main entrance instead of having all of them travel or enter through here so now they have options um, now let's actually check the tram routes that we just created so let's check that let's, uh, oh let's actually review it so that's how it looks so we have a loop here uh, no, actually, this is an entire loop there, a loop on one side here, a loop there, a loop there, and we have a loop on this side and over there. So let's check if it is efficient. Um, so this has a full car. Uh, we have nearly full here. We have some empty, but as long as you have one full, that is considered efficient. Um, we only have 10 vehicles in that line. Let's check the second one. We have 149 there waiting. I could just add one, which isn't too bad. And that should fix that issue. As long as it's not like 500 to 1000, that is acceptable. Okay, next line. This, this is nearly full, so we'll leave this as is. Only five vehicles. The length is, of course, much shorter. Line two, line six. Uh, same goes with this. This is a little more empty, so I'm going to reduce the number of uh, trams there to four. And that should balance that out a little further. Line four, this one is considered good because we have one full car with only nine vehicles. And second to the last one is this. Uh, this has two, three full cars with only 13, so as long as it's not like 20 plus which is great and the last line this is also doing quite well yeah we have a few cool, uh, full cars and that is our tram it is working much more efficiently especially when we divided them throughout the entire area uh, let's check the rest of the city so with that our traffic flow is holding at 93 and the number of passengers we have 4,000 uh, residents using that uh, what else is there to check let's check if the city is doing okay uh, not a lot of alerts so we have these these are just delay deliveries that that's only two so it's not that bad let's actually zoom in yeah it's only two so the city is looking great we have one abandoned oh my we have one abandoned uh, check out the rest this side here uh, just ignore um, I'm still need to kind of distribute this out. This is just a level up for my campus areas. Uh, let's check our population is pretty healthy. We don't have any severe down spikes. Uh, traffic flow, we already saw that. And yeah, overall, the city is doing great. Let's check out the transportation transfer in action. So the tram arrives passengers get off and passengers get on and there are those that cross the street in order to enter the monorail station and in return 
passengers from the monorail stations emerge and they cross the street heading towards the tram stop and when they get there a tram should arrive there it is and look at that that could not have turned out any better so the transfer is absolutely possible so it makes things more efficient and people will be driving less because of your transportation network if you like how the video turned out express your love in the comments and hit that like button and if you're new here i do a lot more game tutorials to help improve the gameplay of fellow mayors this is captain obvious thank you for watching have a pleasant day and i hope to see you again in the next video